Um, I'm really excited. I have a big class of three coming in. Um, we've nicknamed them the A-Team because they're Abby, Ashley, and Allie. So they're going to either have nicknames or we're going to call them by their last names. So um, they, they are all domestic players. So we, we've st stuck inside the U.S. for this class. Um, all three of them have uh, a history. One is uh, from Louisiana. Her mom played golf here. Her dad played baseball. So Abby Daniel from Louisiana, she's a state champion in the amateur ranks there and, and certainly has been a competitor on the U.S. stage in junior golf. Uh, Ashley Gillum is from Manchester, Tennessee. She comes a really, really strong competitor. I know that, that you've all caught her name uh, as a competitor in the women's amateur at O. Waverly last week. And then the third player, Allie Williams, is uh, – from just over in Alabama, and so we, we sneak in those states in the SEC where there's a presence and try to get people that fit and are really good competitors. So we're very excited about what the future comes uh, to us this year. Yeah, on my end, I'm, I'm obviously really excited about the season. I think any time, this time of the year is the best time of the year because it's just new, it's fresh, um, it's a new beginning, new team, new leadership. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about the, about the season. I feel like we returned a pretty veteran team with, with two of our better players being seniors. Um, we're welcoming in two freshmen, William Wan from Birmingham, Alabama, and Hunter Logan from Steens, Mississippi. So we're excited to add them. Do you have any questions? Just raise your hand. Tom? Uh, Dusty, starting the year at Pebble Beach, that's obviously a, a really cool experience. How excited have the guys been for that? And how prepared are you guys for that year, week and a half or whatever it is now? I mean, it's all it's all they talk about all summer is is the chance to go to Pebble Beach. It's it's a it's a special tournament and um, it's one of the I think it's the number one rated strength of field in the country. So it's a we'll we'll find out where we are pretty fast. But you know, school starts Wednesday. We only have a week to prepare. So um, the guys have been playing all summer long. So they should be they should be fresh and ready to go. Um, kind of in their back end of their season because they. You know they go from spring season into the summer and then and then finish out in the fall so that we should be we should be prepared and ready. Do you have any Pebble Beach stories yourself? Ever played it or ever walked the grounds or anything like that? I have played it. I've been to I've been to this golf tournament. I mean I went every single year while I was at Vanderbilt. So I went six years at Vanderbilt. Um, we skipped the first year, my first year here, and then we went last year. So this will be my my eighth time at that golf tournament. So it's a special one and obviously to. To walk the grounds of Pebble Beach is cool, but I have played it, and it's it's probably at the top of my list. How cool is it going there in a year that the U.S. Open was just there, however many months ago that is? I mean, it's it's special. I mean, it's I don't I don't I don't care if the U.S. Open's never played there again. To be honest with you, it's just such a such a beautiful place and a a great test of golf with so much history. Ben, do you bring back a lot of players? Don't really lose too much from last year's team. They come up in the tournament. And well, I think that we're probably deeper this year than we've been in several years. We've, we've had such strong freshman classes and not really had the, the other end of the roster covered. So uh, hopefully some of the upperclassmen can, can bring in the younger ones quickly. And uh, with Old Waverly and Mossy Oak, I think we've got such a shot selection difference in the two courses that we really can train in some some different options for, for shots, especially short game. Um, a lot of the, the youngsters these days want to use the 58 as much as possible, and really Mossy Oak doesn't really dictate that shot. So to have a complete different um, arsenal of shots at, at Mossy really is a factor, and it's one that they can use anywhere they ever go. So it just the ability to have the two completely different golf courses and have that roster that will – kind of bring up the end and get those freshmen playing the seven, eight, nine runners. It's huge. To each one of you, what do you think your strengths of your team is? I think this year for our team, it's it's the maturity on it. Um, I feel like, like I said, our two best, our two of our best players are our seniors, um, Peng Pichiku and, and Garrett Johnson. They've they played in so many golf tournaments. They have a lot of experience. And then, obviously, uh, Ford Clay coming off a, a really solid freshman year. He's a year older. Um, and then, and then we got guys. 
obviously in the back end, I th like, like Ginger said, I think we're going to be very deep this year. So I feel like probably experience. Yeah, and I just say our depth. Um, I look forward to being able to call on the freshmen. Um, we've ridden them pretty hard these last couple of years. So now we've got a sophomore and a junior class that are very strong and experienced, but we also have really strong freshmen coming in that are going to threaten to take the spot, the travel spot. So it'll be a challenge to travel this year for us, which is what you hope you create. To have the depth for somebody to sneak in and take a spot from a junior is a big deal. You know, it, I had I had messages from everywhere in the world. You know, we create relationships all over the world when we recruit and travel, and and it was an amazing experience to to be on this side of it and watch the world stage come to our home. Um, and and the men's golf side, I'm sure one of the results. Of, Blair was almost as famous as Gabrielle Ruffles, the winner of the Women's Am. I mean, it was such a great story and what a huge part she played out there. And for, um, for Ashley to play another, I think she's played in six or seven USGA events at this point, to have that in her backyard, it was, she, she played really well and is a young player that's only gonna get better. So needless to say, uh, the Maroon got a lot of TV time, and uh, <laughs> we, we, we had it out everywhere we could possibly have Maroon out. Dusty, what are your, your thoughts on the rest of the fall schedule, obviously going to Trinity Forest and, and some of those other courses? Yeah, we added two new events to the fall, and my philosophy is just I want to get our team as uncomfortable as possible. Going to new places, you got to – you have to – dissect the golf course, figure out how you're gonna play it, figure out your your strategy on it for, for every every player. So just going out going out uh, back to Texas where I'm from and, and uh, my assistant's from is will will be good and then uh, going up to Notre Dame and playing on Benton Grass and uh, playing a golf course. I think they just hosted the US senior open up there so it'll be it'll be a great test of golf and um, I've actually played played the track before when I was in college so I'm somewhat familiar but um, I just like getting our guys uncomfortable, um, not not playing the same schedule every year where it just becomes kind of monotonous. Of coach, I've played this hole a thousand times. I know what to do. Now you gotta, you have to think a little bit, and you gotta you gotta get uncomfortable because come championship season, that's that's when it matters. Being that your team is so experienced, do you feel like that's, that uncomfortable factor is something that they're going to handle pretty well? I think so, but like I said, this is a completely new team with with new leadership and new challenges. So. Uh, I think it's it'll it'll be up to our leadership. Ben, did you just on, I know we talked about Aubrey at the end of last year, and she dealt with some swing stuff and was maybe starting to click more toward the end of the year. What have you seen from her in the early game? She's done an amazing job. She finished strong for us and and really played some solid golf at the national championship first round. Um, her and Blair Stockett will be our captains this year, so they've worked really hard on some skills and some inside things that they can provide the team and the structure of that. And uh, her golf game is really sharp. I don't anticipate her being anywhere other than one or two, but you never know. You never know. Blair's a junior, so have you had junior captains in the past? Yeah. Yeah, we have, um, but but they're so sharp and they're so hungry to win, and um, they're willing to do whatever it takes to get there. So practice long, meet with a, a upper a underclassmen to make sure that they're got a good understanding of what's going on and how we run things at, at Mississippi State. So um, I'm very excited about what role they're going to play. Dusty, with the USAM winner yesterday being from Mississippi, mm -hmm. obviously you have you know some pretty good Mississippi players on your roster, but you know how much of an emphasis is it to try to get kids like that and keep them in state and, and get them to come to Mississippi State? I mean, it's huge. You want the best players in Mississippi coming to Mississippi State, and we're we're hard at work every single day. I can speak for Ginger as well, mm -hmm. keep keeping that talent in the state. It's important. Anything else? All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.